Hi guys, this is a great look. This is what I'm doing. Why I have a backpack on? I don't know. I just got home without Ollie once again. Um, I am packing, 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 um, because I'm leaving to Shreveport, Louisiana tomorrow. And I just felt like vlogging. I feel like I'm gonna try and vlog this trip. Um, I'm on a new camera. This is the result of having Justine Ezeric as one of your best friends when you can watch their videos and text them and say, what kind of vlogging camera are you liking right now? And then she tells me and then I go get it just because, just because. So I'm testing this one out. I really like it. The only thing is it's a little bit heavy. But I love the quality, I love everything about it so far, I haven't really used it that much. Forever ago, I used to regularly vlog my weekends, Friday through Sunday, and I want to try to do that for this trip. I just want to like vent and talk to you for a little bit really quick. Let's talk. You guys know that I'm still recovering from this surgery, uh, which has been a whole lot of fun. I'm being like insert being very sarcastic right here um but what's frustrating is I keep telling you about this and if you follow me on snapchat you know my frustrations that I don't I live in an apartment so I don't have my backyard anymore which means I can't really let him out to like run around or go to the bathroom and walk him like I normally do so he's staying at my parents and I hate it <laughs> I hate it. I love him being there because I trust them and they're amazing and of course they're my parents and they're just wonderful but that also means that he's not home with me and it sucks. It sucks because it's like quiet without him here and he's like my boy and my buddy and he's like my son and um, luckily I live really close to my parents so what I've been doing is going back and forth and I stay with them sometimes and then just come back here at night and with my working schedule it's weird so it's just always different um but i'm leaving to louisiana tomorrow and i have a riding session before i leave to the airport so that means i have to be at my apartment so i just like to go visit him and love him and play with him and then if you don't have a pet you might think i sound really crazy right now but if you have a dog, you know how my heart is being torn because I don't have him with me. But anyway, that's my rant about Ollie. Would you guys like to see my process of packing? So what I normally do is I put the outfits I'm going to pack, I put them together, I then put them on this little clothes thing, and then, oh, that's how you zoom. And then I put them in my packing squares, put them in my suitcase, and then bam, there you go. Just got a new jacket from Zara, and I'm really excited to wear that one, because I wear this one like all the time. Makeup's already ready to go. I started this earlier because I know this process takes me forever, even though I'm only packing for like three days. Uh, don't know what to wear what if i just wear onesies i can just wear onesies the whole time this is this is embarrassing this is embarrassing i got baby hangers and put all these clothes on here <laughs> uh, he has his little sweater look at these little jammies oh they're just so Cute. He has his sweater, his little his little track suit. He has a jacket in case it gets really cold. What's that? Oh, his Christmas one. And then this is his warm jacket. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> the little hoodie. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm crazy. Ah! Whoa! That was scary. This thing, you guys, this flip thing, it moves. We made it to Shreveport. Yay! I'm in my hotel room. I always feel like I have to like whisper in hotel rooms, but 
My parents aren't in their room, I'm in my room. But look what we, I was gonna say look what we came home to, but look what was here waiting for me. I'm excited to open it and eat everything that's in it. Here's today's lovely, 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 lovely little hurt foot still. I feel like I don't wanna open this because it's just wrapped so pretty. Oh, oh my god. We're gonna open it and we come back. That's what we're gonna do. All right, we had two flights today. One flight was just to Dallas. And then from Dallas to here, it was 38 minutes. But it feels like such a long day. But it hasn't been a long day. Hi, I'm back in my hotel room after eating dinner. And now I'm stuck in a situation. I don't know why I'm talking to you like this. I'm stuck in a situation because I forgot shampoo and conditioner. And if you're a girl and you stay in hotels a lot, um, you know that the hotel shampoo and conditioner really, really sucks. And my mom brought some, but my parents left to go gamble and so I don't have a key to their room and so I think I'm gonna go on a mission to go downstairs and just say hey my parents are next door do you trust me I need shampoo and conditioner so I think that's what I'm gonna go do and I'll come back and let you know what happens I'm back and I'm very happy to report I got the key and I got to go get the shampoo and conditioner and now I get to wash this crazy, crazy hair of mine. Um, I am going to take a shower and go to bed and wrap up this vlog, but before I do, I want to open this. It's just so pretty. I want to open this and then show you guys what's in it. So as I'm opening this, I'm going to have story time. So. Hold on, one second, because I know this is going to be so loud. No, I can't untie the ribbon. I'm failing at this. It's like the candy is right there, but I can't open it. And I don't know how I'm going to get to it because of this little tie thing. It's right there and I cannot get to it. Ugh, I'm going to have to leave it and maybe tomorrow I can open it. Um, but anyway, the story that I was going to tell you guys was um, I don't know if any, I'll just stand right here because the lighting is good. I don't know if any of you watch Duck Dynasty or Dancing with the Stars and know who Sadie Robinson is, but um, she reached out to me a while ago, over a year ago on Instagram, and then we just started talking and we exchanged numbers and we've been texting and when I was in LA last week, I looked on her Snapchat and she was in LA last week, so we were able to meet up and I'll put a picture right here of when I was able to meet her, but I adore her and I'm just bringing it up because I told her this was my first time in Louisiana and we were sad that she's in New York for Fashion Week right now and so we couldn't meet up here, but anyway, I adore her. If you don't know who she is, she's a wonderful, wonderful inspiration to many, many young girls, uh, including myself, even though I'm about to be 27. <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna go. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. Tomorrow's gonna be super fun. I just found out some really exciting news that we are going to be able to drive around something pretty awesome. And my dreams of going to see where Still Magnolias was filmed are coming true and we're gonna be able to go. And I'm gonna take you with us and I'm warning you, I may or may not cry. I'm just very, very, very excited because it's my all-time favorite movie in the whole wide world. Still Magnolias. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's sad, but it's my favorite movie ever. But 
I'm Nico. I love you. Thank you for watching yesterday and today's randomness with me. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. Tomorrow I'm speaking at a brunch and then we're gonna show the film and I'm doing some press and then I'm gonna do a QA and a after that and then we're gonna go on a little road trip and I can't wait. I love you. I will see you in the next video. Bye!